Kathy won the Olympic gold medal in Rome, then known as Cassius Marcellus Clay, the former heavyweight champion of the world and the people's champion of Rome, Kentucky, now known as Mr. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. The garden is in a bedlam. He's getting a tremendous hand. He looks good, doesn't he, Floyd? Yes, he does. Another world heavyweight champion from Philadelphia, Smoking Joe Furry. Uh oh. They may have a, we, we got to break this up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Joe, how are you? Just a quick question. How do you feel? I feel good. I got my weights down. I'm, I'm all ready to go. I would sit another five, six weeks. I'll be in tip top shape. How are you going to make out with Muhammad Ali? I'm going to be ready. I'm going to give him something to think about on the 20th of January. Joe, good luck to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, last but far from least, United States gold medal winner in Mexico City in 1968. Now, the Here comes George Foreman. Heavyweight champion of all the world, George Foreman. Shaking hands with Floyd Patterson. That's the first time I've ever shaked, took hands with Floyd Patterson. That was a it? great fighter, great it's champion. Really, he's a great, he got a great hand. George, everybody wants to know how you feel. Feeling real good now, man. I see a lot of heavyweights around now, so I don't have no reason to be going without fights. You know, I think you've been criticized unjustly for not fighting in the last year. Was it your fault? No, I'd like to fight. Fighting is the only way I can make a living. You know, if I don't get no fights, then I can't eat. How about the winner of tonight's fight between Quarry and Schaefer? I think that's a probability that I'll be fighting one of those guys. Good luck, George. Thank you. Thank you. Jerry was born in Los Angeles, May 15th, 1945. The six foot one half inch boxer puncher has won 47 of his 57 fights with six losses and four draws. He has stopped 28 opponents and was halted four times, twice by Muhammad Ali, once by Joe Frazier in a title bout, and once by George Chevallo. He has lost only to the best. On the plus side, he has beaten our friend Floyd Patterson, and also Ron Lyle and Matt Foster when they came to Madison Square Garden undefeated. Here comes Ernie, he's the question mark in this fight. We know what Quarry can do, but how about the man you're looking at now? We know he can hit, but can he take it? His KO of Jimmy Ellis was a sensation, but just before he KO'd Jimmy at the Garden with one punch last June, Ellis seemed to stagger him. If Shavers can hit Quarry solidly, he's got a great chance. Ernie has won 46 of his 48 bouts with two losses, 
won a KO by Ron Stander, but that was long ago. Now get this, Shavers has scored 45 knockouts in his 46 wins, 18 of them coming in the first round. He's won 34 fights in a row, and he's ranked number six in the division. Ernie stands six feet one inch tall and was born in Garland, Alabama, August 31st, 1945. He now lives in Warren, Ohio, and he's the same age as Jerry Quarry. Ernie Shavers. the boys are patiently waiting. Got a little bit more than a minute to go before the fight gets underway. I'll repeat the scoring again on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the cards are, uh, the points come out even on an official's card. The scoring is done by the referee and two judges. The mandatory eight count is in effect. That's important in a heavyweight bout, of course, or in any bout. So is the three knockdown rule. If a man is floored, in, uh, three times in a round, he's considered knocked out. And the count continues. If a man is floored at or near the ringing of the bell, he must arise by the count of ten, even though the bell is sounded, except in the last round. In other words, he cannot be saved by the bell. Coming to us from Cypress, California, at one, two hundred and two pounds even, he's wearing green trunks, trimmed in white, Jerry, 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 Jerry. Big hand for Jerry. And from and from Warren, Ohio, two hundred and ten pounds even. He's wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white, and he shaved twelve pounds. Shavers was smiling at Quarry, and Quarry was very serious. Here are the instructions by the referee. This contest for 12 rounds will be governed by the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. We expect you to obey these rules. I'll be here to enforce them. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Now, you meant break when you're told to break. You will be penalized if you do anything illegal. Shake hands now. We one question. Gil Clancy asking a question about the height of Shaver's trunks. The referee lowers them a little. <laughs> We're ready now for the punch fest. Quarry the green trunks, Shaver's the blue trunks. Referee Arthur McCandy, the bell, round one, is scheduled for 12. Quarry makes the first clinch. Shavers scoring heavily. Shavers warned about grabbing behind the neck. Shavers back to the lead. He might have been hurt. And he is hurt, apparently. Yeah, he's hurt. to go in the round. Shavers is in trouble. Down goes Shavers. He's taking the mandatory eight count. Five, six, seven.
Kevin, the referee, talks to him. He's in Quarry's corner. He doesn't seem to know where he is. Oh, I think they're going to stop it. The fight is over. The fight is over. The referee has stopped the contest. The winner by a knockout in the first round. Jerry Quarry. We'll have a replay of the first round, I'm sure. And we'll have an interview with Jerry Quarry, the winner. The time about 221 of the first round. Jerry Quarry picks up his new manager, Gil Clancy. Jerry! Jerry! That was a spectacular win for Jerry Quarry. A very a sensational win. I think now Jerry Quarry will probably go right in line for a shot at the heavyweight champion. George Foreman. 21 seconds. First round. Referee McKinney stops the contest. Winner is Jerry Quarry. Okay. Don Duffy is going to try to do this. Yes, How badly hurt was Shavers? Well, it was totally defensive and it was necessary to stop it at that time because he couldn't have gone on anymore. It would have been unnecessary to take any further beating. He stood in the corner as though he didn't know what was going on. He didn't I know. Thought. His eyes were glassy and he was defenseless. It was best to stop it at that time. Don. Okay, thank Arthur. Thank you. I got to Jerry, I got to say, you look like Jack Dempsey in there. Uh, Jerry Quarry. Hey, he's got a hard hit. I hurt both hands. You, you, you hurt both hands? Did he hurt you? No. I thought he did. He didn't hit me. Yeah, he hit you. Good he hit you, Jerry. Win. Early in the win. Win. Jerry, come on. Hey, we don't, he we don't want an I'm argument here. You don't have one. He didn't hit me at all with any decent shot at What do you think hurt him most with, by left you? Left hook. The left hook. Yeah. yeah. Here's Ernie Shaver. Ernie, come on over here, huh? Here's Ernie Shaver, who must be very disappointed. I just got hit. Sorry. Ernie, what happened? I just got hit with a shot and never got recovered. You, you got over there in the corner. You didn't seem to know yeah. what was going on. I got hit with a good shot and couldn't recover, that's all. You hit him a good he did, shot. Yeah, he's a very good fighter. No, he, said, he, said, he, he, he hit, hit him with a good shot. shot. He's a very good fighter. All right, Ernie. Yeah, thank you. Good it. luck. Here's Gil Clancy. Gil, uh, I got to offer you congratulations. You may even be manager of the year or something because uh, you, you've done wonders with Quarry. He's got a new zest for fighting, hasn't he? Well, he sure has, Don. He worked real hard for this fight. We were very disappointed with the postponements, you know, and the grind of waiting and waiting and waiting. I guess he just had to get it over with like this, you know. Well, this was some win. Now, what about Foreman? Well, you know, we had a contract to fight George Foreman before, and uh, he promised me... On September 10th, right after Jerry knocked, knocked out Tony Doyle, he promised me he'd fight Jerry in November. I can't find him. I think George Foreman's retired. Oh, he's there all right. Well, why don't he fight Jerry Quarry? Well, That's the biggest money match he can make. Yes, sir. Nobody else is even close. But he's here. Well, then why don't he fight Jerry right, Quarry? You got a point, Gil. Good luck to you. Congratulations. All right, they're going to show a rerun now of the Jerry Quarry spectacular first round, one round knockout, Bernie Shavers. Bernie Shavers, I must say, takes some tremendous punches. I never really thought he could take that much of a punch, but Jerry Quarry was hitting him round. I don't know how many shots he took before going down. But Shavers did hit him there. Yeah, Quarry says he wasn't hit. He was hit. Oh, he was hit several times. There, there's a left hook. Another left hook. Wow. He took some punches. I think the referee was smart to stop it, Floyd. I, I think so, too, John. And I have to say, despite... Despite the way Ernie Shavers was hurt, he continued to try. Oh, yes. Up until the end. 